Thank you. Our next speaker is Julie Cerrone. Hello, um, my name is Julie Cerrone. I'm 30 years old and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And um, I hope that I can get through this without totally breaking down and crying because it's amazing that I'm actually standing here unassisted wearing cute wedges, if I may add. Um, because mobility and getting out of bed and walking up the stairs was something that I took for granted. Um, something that I did every day, but I had it taken away from me and I wasn't sure that I was going to get it back. When I was in fifth grade, I had my first knee surgery and um, in 2012, I faced my fourth and fifth knee surgery. And as I was going through this, I kept having more and more knee pain and my doctor kept saying, oh, you're fine. Nothing's wrong with you. And I knew there was something wrong. There was something wrong. It was to the point where I couldn't stop shaking. I was in control of me shaking. You know, when you talk about a pain scale of one to 10, this was a thousand. Um, and I will always remember December 17th, 2012, when my doctor <laughs> walked into the examination room and said, well, part of your femur bone is dead. It's called avascular necrosis. I, I know what it is. I've seen it before, but I don't really know what to do with you. I don't know how to treat it, and I really don't know where to send you. Um, he continued to say that you probably will need to get a knee replacement. Um, you could probably get two in your life, and good luck, and send us on our way. I'm a pretty positive person, but I started doing the math in my head, and I thought, well, crap, I'm going to be 60, young age of 60, and am I going to be able to play with my family? Am I going to be able to walk? What am I going to do? So I really relied on my family and friends and patient leaders online to try to, try to figure out this story because I had nowhere to turn to. Um, I lost count at about 28, 29 health practitioners that I went to looking for an answer top bone specialists, top orthopedics. I would walk in there and they'd all say, well, I know what, what avascular necrosis is. If you were older, I'd give you a knee replacement. But because I also had, well, I have psoriatic arthritis and at the time I had complex regional pain syndrome, nobody wanted to touch me with a 10 foot pole. Um, you know, I'd walk into these top, top, top leading doctors with such hope and I'd leave just completely defeated with my family in tears because no one would give me a solution. Um, I found my own solution though, and that was a Regenix stem cell procedure. And in March 2015, I went and had the procedure done um, on my left femur bone. Three months out, I was off all of the pain meds that I had been living on three to four times a day for three years at that point. Six months out, 40% of my bone had regenerated and I was able to get off the crutches that I was on for three and a half years. And a year out, 60% of my bone regenerated. Today I stand here unassisted um, a year and a half out and really the only barriers that I face now in life are mental, that I think I can't do things, I think I can't walk, I think I can't do um, physical things, but I can because my bone has solidified in a way that it's not gonna crumble. And I think back to all those top doctors that I went to and the best advice that I got was quote unquote to walk on crutches for the next 10 years until your bone completely crumbles and then get a knee replacement and that was just absolutely unacceptable to me. Um, there are so many different ways to treat avascular necrosis and they all have low outcomes um, and I started talking about stem cells and trying to figure out if that was an option for me and um, I had doctors say well we have these pre-filled placenta syringes, why don't we try that? And, you know, with my autoimmunity and with no long-term studies of those things, I was very, very hesitant. Um, so I am so thankful and grateful to all of the powers that be that led me to the stem cell procedure that I had. I was able to tap into my innate healing ability, which each of us have. You know, given half a chance, our bodies will heal themselves by ourselves. And we need to give patients that chance. So doing the studies, making these um, procedures available to patients. Uh, today, I just wanted to share my brief highlight of a story for you, and, you know, let's do this together. Let's make this ready, readily available for all patients. I'd never, ever wish AVN on my worst night enemy, and I sure hope that you or your family never has to go through this, but drafting regulations that allow people to tap into that innate ability, you know, we can solve these problems for all of these patients. So thank you very much.